Hello everyone, Hydroalexia is back with a new tutorial on how to show you how to make biogas engines, fermenter, and pump setup to make everything run automatically and gain a lot of MJs out of a lot of power to produce whatever you want. As you can see, I'm running it, running mine to a quarry that's already been gone through some damage, <laughs> as you can see. So I'll go to somewhere new and show you guys what to do. Before you have any of this, you are going to need at least a solar panel or some kind of energy so you can power a fermenter to get starting biogas. Because before you can do anything, you need to be able to have some biogas to fuel your engines just to get them started because they need to be heated up for them to start. So, we're going to need a solar panel. Let's just say that for our beginner things. I'm just going to overload because... It's just a tutorial and I'm on creative, so we'll go like that and then we'll go. I'll run it to. Then you need to run it to an electrical engine or some sort of engine like that. Fix and then run it to the fermenter. Fix this. And then power that with a lever. Should soon start to power this. It's not powering anything because there's nothing in it. To fuel the fermenter, you need some buckets of water to start off with. So you put a few buckets in there. You're going to need a bit more than that to produce biofuel. So I'll make a few more buckets. Put them in there. I could have used even more than that, but that should be. Eh, I'll get a few more. Oops. Put your stuff in there. And then you need saplings and some kind of fertilizer. I use fertilizer itself, but you can use mulch or you can search up a bunch of other stuff to make. There's quite a bit you can use. And then any kind of sapling for the top bit. As you can see, there's quite a bit. So you put the sapling in the top so it produces. And then you need the fertilizer in the bottom. And you can see it is starting to produce biomass already. Now to start the actual setup that I showed you. You're going to need, I like to start off with doing the pump, because you need to make sure your pump's getting water before anything. So let's move, let's just put the pump right here. It's a good spot. Make sure some blocks around it are nowhere to be found. Just clear it out a bit for now. That Like that, that should work. And then you need to run a redstone engine to it. I like to do two, just because the more water you get to it, the better. And then you need to put a lever. Doesn't matter where, you could just just like this works. That's what I'll do. And just turn them on and get those things pumping. You know, and then you need to be able to get build craft pipes. So gold not transport pipes, you need waterproof pipes because it's water. Where's my wooden waterproof? Where's my gold waterproof? There it is. I need to run that to wherever you need to go. So we'll go this way. And he's, for some reason, this is not getting me any water right now. So we'll see what I can try to fix that here quickly. Take out some blocks. It's working now. Not yet. Oh, this needs to be wooden, my bad. No, oh, it should work. Yeah, you wanna give me some water? There we go, see, as you can see, it's pumping water. That's a good start. Now you want to bring that, bring that water pipe to where your your fermenter is going to go. So I'm going to move my fermenter once it collects. Huh. Yeah, I'll move my fermenter once it collects enough biomass, but for now, I'll just use a different one. So you put your fermenter there, and you want to get the water that's coming from here. Should be able to reach there. Should be able to get some water to here. We might need some more energy. Oh. There we go. The water's trickling in. There we go. We're getting some water to that. The water gets to the fermenter. And then again, it powers saplings and fertilizer. I like to use fertilizer in the bottom, saplings in the top. And then. That's all it's going to do for now until we get our engine set up. So to get our engine set up, you want to go 
three up. I like to go pretty, like, I don't know, here. And you want to go three up, you want to go put your engine, engine, however many engines you want. I'm just going to do four for now. And then get your wooden conductive pipe and your gold conductive pipe ready. Oh, what am I, wooden conductive pipe. And you need to run a wooden off the bottom. And then either a cobblestone or a gold or stone or whatever to after that. And then take your wrench, normal wrench, turn your engines by right clicking on them. You want them to be facing down. After that, put cobblestone on top, which means you need a shift, just like that. And then redstone, just because you need to turn them on, a circuit, and then a lever on the end. That's what I do. And it turns it on. I don't need to turn it on yet. And then it'll start producing energy. Actually, no, it won't because you need a certain temperature before these will turn on. And the hardest part to get these working is you need lava. So you need to go and find lava in wherever you can find it. I'm just going to get it like this. You need one bucket per engine. So however many engines you're powering, you need one bucket per. There's that. There's that. There goes that one. And the last. Now, with when we left this on, we need to fill with that biomass that it is produced. We need to fill some buckets up. We need four buckets should be good. And then you put one in each of these. So it, it'll look like that for now. As you can see. And then as soon as I turn these on, they should start producing energy. They should turn on. See, this got to fill up. And then they were pump. See? And then they produce energy. With that energy, you need to run it to your fermenter, and then that'll start powering with the water, and that'll make more biomass. And with that biomass, you need to take wooden waterproof pipes, wherever that is, wooden waterproof pipes, run it out the side, power it with a redstone engine, or, or not, not a biomass, a redstone engine, and turn it on. And that'll make, move the biomass that's getting produced then you want to run it with gold. It'll pr you want to run it up to your biogas engines. Push it down. And then that fermenter is now giving biogas, biomass to the biogas engine. And from the biogas engine, it is producing MJ's, Minecraft Jewels, five Minecraft Jewels per tick into the fermenter, which is producing enough to make biomass to fuel this. So it kind of works in a circuit as you can see. It is not going to be working right now because we're not getting water and I do not know why. For some reason it is not pumping water very fast. So when that happens you need to add some more redstone and you need to get it working. So I'll get some cobble here. Place it, place it, turn it on, turn it on, and you need to get water pumping, and to be able to reach here, you need water to be able to produce biomass. It's pretty basic. So what happening? what's happening in this whole setup right here is the pump is fueling the fermenter with water. The water is taking in the bio, the biogas MJs and producing biomass for the biogas engines so it all works off itself and that's how you make the automatic biogas fermenter pump setup I will show you guys a quick way to run a quarry off this it's pretty simple you just have one cord coming off the back gold conductive to wherever you want your quarry to be I think this is a fine spot or it doesn't need to be a quarry, but anything you want to power, you just need to run it from any one of those, place it, and it should be a good to go. It's that simple, guys. As you can see, it is very fast, too. Look at how fast the quarry goes when it's working off four biogas engines. 
One solar panel produces seven megajoules per tick, and these do five. And these also run in the night, so they are very useful, guys. I'm telling you, if you could learn how to use these, they'll make your life a lot easier. As you can see, look how fast this core is going. We'll watch it do its thing quickly here, and then I'll end the video. There it goes, guys. Shooting blocks everywhere. Hooray! That's what it's saying. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please click the like button and subscribe for more. See you later.